Hi, I'm Peyton. I'm Polly's daughter, and I'm going to be reading Why Should I Protect Nature? Illustrated by Mike Gordon. Written by Jen Green. Nature is the big wild world all around us, from giant oak trees to little acorns and wiggling worms. The birds chirping in the trees are part of nature, so is the salty smell of the sea, splashing in rain puddles and the soft fur on a donkey's mm -hmm. nose. I used to find nature boring, yawn, or pesky, shoo, or creepy, yuck, but then our class went on a trip. On our trip, we went to the sea and looked in tide pools. It was great. On the way home, we had a picnic in the park. Everyone got a bit rowdy. Craig and Marina broke some branches. I threw my soda can, John picked some flowers, and Sally tried to swat a bee. Our teacher, Miss Wade, said we should protect nature, not hurt it. Why should I protect nature? She asked, what do you think would happen if everyone broke off the branches? We couldn't climb trees. The trees would have no leaves left and they couldn't grow properly. Birds couldn't nest in their branches. Trees, 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 save our trees, more trees, leave our trees, save our trees. And guess what would happen if we picked all the flowers and swatted the bees? Hmm? There would be no flowers left and we'd have no honey for breakfast. And what would happen if we dropped litter everywhere we liked? The countryside would be knee deep in paper, plastic, and tin cans. Birds and other animals could choke or get trapped in litter and die. No trees, no flowers, no honey, no animals. That would be terrible. So how can we help nature instead? Instead of picking flowers, we could plant flowers in a corner of the garden. Butterflies and bees love flowers, so they'll visit too. We could plant a tree instead of breaking branches. Cleaning up litter keeps nature looking lovely and helps animals and birds. Now we have fun protecting nature. After all, people are part of nature too.